everyone, welcome back to Shelby on Safari. Today we're gonna learn five fabulous facts about the flamingo. But first, if you're new here and you wanna learn all about animals in the wild, in captivity, or in pop culture, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make that bell go ding so you can be the first to see all the new content headed your way. Now, let's flap to it. That was a terrible pun, but really, let's get started. actually six different flamingo species. They are the greater flamingo, the Chilean flamingo, the lesser flamingo, Caribbean flamingo, Andean flamingo, and James's flamingo. While each of the species look quite different in their own right, there's one color they have in common, pink. Flamingos get this pink color from their food source. That's why when you see baby flamingos, they're actually gray and white for the first couple of years. You'll see some flamingos are bright while others are quite pale. And this is because it comes down to the types of food they have access to in a given location. But what about flamingos in captivity? Well, pigmentation is added to their food so they don't lose this lovely coloring. Speaking of food, Flamingos are filter feeders. Their beaks are lined with complex rows of horny plates that, like baleen whales, are used to strain food from water. To aid in filtration, flamingos actually feed with their heads down. Thus, their bills are adapted accordingly. This is why their beak looks different than most birds. Their lower bill is much larger and stronger than their top bill whereas in most birds, it's the reverse. Unlike other birds and even mammals, their upper jaw is not rigidly fixed to their skull. Because of this, when their head is upside down when they're feeding, their upper bill moves up and down, allowing the flamingo's jaws to work, quote, normally. They can also swing their head back and forth to let water pass through their bill. Flamingos can also use their tongue as a pump to pass water through their bill strainer more efficiently. In fact, the flamingo's tongue almost became its downfall. Roman emperors considered it a delicacy. All flamingos have yellow eyes, regardless of what species they are. However, their brain is actually smaller than their eye. How crazy is that? Flamingos can have a wingspan of up to three feet and be up to five feet tall. Even though they're a very tall bird with a big wingspan, they don't actually weigh that much. They don't weigh more than 10 pounds. Wanna take a guess as to how many vertebrae are in a flamingo's neck? To put it in perspective, we have seven, but also so do giraffes, so I don't know if that will help. Here, I'll give you some multiple choice. How about A, seven, B, 19, C, 20, or D, 15? While you consider it, let's take a look at Maui napping. Guys, did you know Maui loves the tummy tickles? Oh, they're stretchy. He's such a good boy. Such a good boy. What do you think it is? The answer is 19. That's why they have such a wide range of movement in their neck. They are very flexible, and this is to help them bend downward to eat as filter feeders, and even go backwards to preen their feathers. Flamingos are long-lived animals. In fact, greater, the greater flamingo, lived until the ripe old age of 83 at Adelaide Zoo in Australia. There's still so much to be explored about the amazing flamingo. In fact, I'm thinking about starting a new series, looking at research and what's going on in the world of animals, both in the captive collections and in the wild. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments below. 
And if you learned something new today about the gorgeous flamingos, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.